Well, hello everyone. It's Friday, and uh, I went to go pick up some different beers to try, and uh, today I'm going to be drinking Delirium Nocturnum. Now, this isn't the... Delirium Tremens is the one that they're mostly famous for with the pink elephant on it. Uh, Delirium Tremens... Uh, I, they didn't have any, and the only reason why I bought this one, because they're kind of expensive, it's like 10 bucks a bottle, but if you bought two of them, I got a new glass, and I thought it was a really cool glass, Delirium it says on it, it has a pink elephant, and uh, the pink elephant is like an inside joke about being drunk, like when you're really drunk, you see pink elephants, I don't know if it's a hallucinate, hallucinate, hallucination, excuse me. And uh, delirium tremens too is also the term for withdrawal from alcohol. When you're a hardcore alcoholic and you stop, your body goes through withdrawal, and you can have hallucinations and feel sick and all kinds of horrible things. And so I believe that's another reason why they have the the pink elephant. But um, I don't have an exact. They say 1654. Uh, it's out of Belgium, um, and I don't know if this brewery has been owned and operated by the same family or whatever since 1664. On their website, it just says, we know there was activity of brewing in 1664 in this brewery. Um, so that's very vague. You know what I mean? That's just like, if you had crops growing on your land that maybe were there naturally, and you're like, oh, this farm's been here for 500 years. I don't know. Um, but they're European. Europeans have a lot of old breweries and stuff like that. So very, very well me, very well maybe. Now, uh, Delirium Tremens started in '89, so it's just as old as me, which is pretty crazy. But this one, I don't know. Noc Nocturnum is the dark version of it, and Nocturnum, I I believe it's a Latin term and. I didn't couldn't find any definition on it, but I'm believing it's a Latin term and is loosely based on uh, nocturnal, which means dark. And from what I understand, this is a dark beer. Uh, it's eight and a half percent alcohol. That's pretty strong. Cool bottle. They're always very well known for this bottle. Like I said, the pink elephant. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to go a whole lot of craziness into their history because they do have a bunch of other ones. And I actually have another uh, Delirium uh, delirium Red, which is like a fruit-flavored one, I guess. And that one's probably going to be the best because last time I had Tremens, I really wasn't that impressed. And maybe a lot of people are going to hate on me for that. But it's got this uh, wire like cage over the cork. And then you just got the little cork. You <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to blow up like that. <laughs> Usually they pull out a little bit. <laughs> that gave me a little scare. <laughs> well, it's a good little pour. I didn't shake it up. And I'm going to put it in the special glass because, I mean, I thought it was a really cool cup. Uh, and I'm kind of pouring it a little sloppy now. I didn't smell it out of the bottle either because that <laughs> startled the crap out of me. It smells like a normal, normal stout, maybe? No, not even like a stout. Hmm. Like. Just a dark beer. Like I'm trying to think. Maybe like a porter. The head's kind of fizzy on it. Oh boy, I forgot. I usually chug beer on Fridays. <laughs> I did fill it. It has a line on there, and that's what I was going for was to fill it to the line. Yeah, I guess it smells like more like a porter. It's not. Doesn't smell heavy. It just smells. You can smell like the caramel. And the the other darker hops or not hops uh, grains that are in there it doesn't smell great. Super dark, soup like like Coca Cola almost, but not very fizzy. 
when I had the delirium tremens, I poured it, and I didn't make a video because it was just on a weekend random, but the head kept growing. Like, I poured it, and then the head grew out, like, to the top. Like, it had the meniscus bubble going on, and I was just like, what in God's name is going on? So hopefully this is better. We'll find out. It's not horrible, but that initial taste wasn't that great. Almost tasted metallic. Definitely taste the booze in it, which is kind of surprising. Eight and a half percent is high, but I've had a lot of beers even that I've reviewed on my channel that have ugh, big burps off there that have nowhere near the alcohol taste that this does. Like even, uh, oh, I forget which one it was. It was the Hoptronics, I think, was like 9%. And that tasted better than this. In the, the uh, Tank 7, oh, excuse me, definitely give me a lot of burps. The Tank 7... Uh, the farmhouse ale by I think that's New Holland as well that had I think a higher no it might have been the same but you couldn't really taste the alcohol you could you could tell but it wasn't like a flat taste man this is giving me all kinds of burps I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. It's not good. <laughs> and honestly, when I had the Tremens too, I didn't think it was that good. And uh, maybe there's a lot of uh, fancy beer drinking guys. And uh, I consider myself a pretty big consumer of beer. And I have had a lot of different beers, a lot of different styles from many different countries. And uh, I wouldn't pay the 10 bucks. 10 bucks. For this, I mean, it says it's like a pint, a pint nine point four, so twenty, what twenty five point four ounces? It's like two cans of beer, and a little taste after. It's not worth ten bucks. I'm sorry. Uh, I would give it like a two point seven, like a. Yeah, 2.7. I would say below average for sure. It's it's not that good. I had higher expectations. I'm hoping the fruit one is going to be good. And that sounds kind of sissy to say. Like, uh, fruit, fruity beer, you don't like a real dark beer. I love dark beer. I love porters. I love stouts. Love them. Um, I haven't been doing any reviews on any of them. Uh, because I haven't really had any other than Guinness, which I really don't want to do a review of. Uh, well, I will do a review eventually. But I'm going to Europe, so I'm also trying to save some of these European beers for when I'm in Europe. Maybe it's a bad batch. Maybe we got a bad batch here on base, and it's not that good. <sighs> I'm hesitant to try and chug this. <laughs> gives you horrible burps. Well, <laughs> my eyes are watering from that. It's weird because it didn't seem fizzy. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, if you are somebody who you're on a, another level with beer, there's certain levels of beer that you can drink and you're one of those people that maybe just wants one like I mean one of these probably will give you a nice little buzz and I'll finish it today um, but it's excuse me jeez it's not worth 10 bucks 
not him, no way in hell. And I, there are beers out there that I will pay ten dollars a bottle for, that probably are even smaller than that. Ooh, jeez, it's the same bottle, same size as a bottle of wine. It's seven fifty mil, says a bottle of wine. God, make me burp something crazy. Yeah, uh, you can try it if you want. It gets a lot of like attention because it's in this ceramic-looking bottle, even though it's just a glass bottle that's painted to give it that spackle look. Overall, Delirium Nocturnal Nocturnum. I'm gonna say I would pass um, if you see it, and it's ten bucks, and you're thinking about like that six pack of uh, hazy little thing IPA. That was nine dollars. This is a dollar more, and you get four extra cans of beer, basically, for the same price. And that beer was really good, like really, really, really good. And this is a disappointment. I even like dark beer, so I was hoping this was gonna have something going for it. Hopefully, the Delirium Red can redeem the Delirium for me because now I've had two of them. I didn't review the Tremens. I probably will do another review on it once I actually do a lot more homework on the company. Uh, their website was just kind of all over the place and hectic, and I don't even really know how to pronounce the name of the <laughs> the brewery. So when I go to Europe and I learn a little bit more on pronunciation, uh, I want to do it fair justice, and I will do Tremens. And they have like some other things like blondes and different styles of beer. That maybe I will find something I like. I heard Belgian beer is amazing, so I'm gonna be right next to there in a few months. But overall, guys, have a good weekend. I probably went on a little long just because I was kind of disappointed. Like ten bucks is a little ridiculous. Now that foam turned into some beer. But you guys have a good weekend. I bought this for the cup. I do like the cup, won't deny it. It will not be taking the place of Cuppy because that's a good beer cup for me to drink and not feel like I chugged a whole beer like I kind of did with that. Anyways, guys, have a good weekend. Uh, definitely try some new beers. Do something exciting uh, this weekend. Fourth of July is coming up, and it's going to be on a Wednesday, which is cool because it's going to be a wet Wednesday on the American holiday. So I'm going to have another... Uh, video and next time I do that uh, I'm gonna make a little more elaborate I already know what beer I'm gonna drink and I'm gonna do it's gonna be a long video because I want to go into the whole history and some internet interesting facts of that beer and that company so anyways have a great weekend guys uh, sorry if you like delirium beers it just seems like they haven't really hit it off with me and I try to be an everyday guy with beer. I'm just trying to give you a bottom line what I think. And 2.7 out of 5 is my honest opinion. Don't mean you have to agree with me. Maybe you'll love it. Whatever. Leave a comment if you do. And let me know what you guys think. Anyways, have a good one.